I gave myself a nicotine addiction while studying so that my brain naturally craves mathematical equations. Today I'm gonna read comments from my comment section on Instagram. These are crazy stories from engineering students. How they study or just things that happen to them throughout their degree. We're gonna start off strong with an extremely unhinged study method. I gave myself a nicotine addiction while studying so that my brain naturally craves mathematical equations. 10 on 10. Brewed coffee with Red Bull. I once mixed sugar, Monster Energy, and C4 in a gallon jug along with some pop rocks and sugar candy sticks so I could stay up and study for three days straight for my engineering statics and mathematical physics exam. It can't get this deep for statics unless you have a 1000 truss system. I have redesigned an electric motor 20 times at least for a boat project and I am at my wits end. <laughs> Next one. Converted my sleep schedule to sleeping every other night for a week so I could cram an entire fluid mechanics final project into two days. Collected all the data, wrote a MATLAB program, did all the data analysis, wrote a 15 page report and then presented it after being awake for 45 hours. The 45 hours sounds brutal. By the end of it, I started seeing the shadow people. The things we do for a one credit lab. Hmm. I didn't do all of this for a one credit lab ever. But I understand. Driving with no seatbelt to a class hoping to not make it. <laughs> Snort pre-workout before exams to make it for lost sleep. I feel like this is something common. Right? Right? Learned the entirety of Calculus 1 while high, passed with a B. I was visualizing every integral I solved. Yes, but I, I didn't know that integrals appeared in Calculus 1. I, I thought they appeared in Calculus 2. I guess it's different school systems. Uh, and someone said, hi on what please, I need to know. And he replied, just way too much weed. THC has psychoactive properties above 50 milligrams, so I just gotta keep hitting blinkers before class. All of these is just substance abuse. <laughs> I drank a random fluid. Okay, more substance abuse. Probably just Kool-Aid, okay, out of a cuvette. In my engineering ethics class, the teacher could hear laughing, but never realize it was me. In my SOLIDWORKS class, I filled a Hello Kitty Hydro Flax with Soju and Calpico. Got absolutely fucking hammered and blamed it on my brain tumor to get away with. Hashtag goaded. Got a zero on my second to last Calculus 1 exam because my ex-girlfriend wanted to fuck all night long, did the same shit again the night before the final, but I aced that shit. I don't know, there's more unhinged shit I'm missing. This guy's crazy. Oh, there's more shit. I got banned from my school's Formula Electric team because I had sent pictures of the members riced out cars in the Discord. Like, really? Aren't we engineers? And their feelings were really hurt. I brought a brake caliper to the makerspace to make sure the 3D prototype of the bracket bolted on correctly. I drank a whole bottle of Hennessy in the parking garage. There's still more I'm missing. I want to be friends with this guy. This girl commented, contemplated ways to cut her finger off in such a way that it could be reattached at the hospital so that I wouldn't have to write a specific exam. Never worked up the nerve, but damn, I thought about it non-stop. Desperate measures! Ate nothing but Celsius and coffee for a whole day and crashed out so hard I became convinced I was pregnant. And in parentheses, she said, I'm a lesbian. Also, my friend's dad has an electrical engineering degree from Georgia Tech. He used to do homework at a famous strip club near here. Was he also convinced he was pregnant? A instant coffee from a jar, like it was cereal. Then took a pre-workout shot and chased it with Red Bull. Hard failure, speed run. Heroin is probably safer. Currently on a full-time school load. Full-time job, full-time mom. That's very respectable. And I wish you best of luck. This is, this is a lot of hard work. Pulled two all-nighters in a row during finals week with a final on each day after the all-nighter. 
because I was worried I wouldn't wake up for my 8 a.m. exams. I used the Captain Sparkles Minecraft stream to stay awake the second night and I hallucinated Minecraft blocks on the exam in the morning. This past semester, I also drank a thousand milligrams, a thousand grams of caffeine on accident at 1 a.m. I'm pretty sure they meant to say a thousand milligrams because a thousand grams is impossible. That would kill you. I could feel my heartbeat in my eyes. Fair enough. For fluid dynamics, I studied so many problems in an alternate textbook that my original school used before I transferred that for one of the exams, I did three of the five test questions when I was studying. I totally lucked out in addition to doing an insane number of problems. I didn't know he pulled questions from that book. That is indeed a very good way to study. Just practice problems till you puke and just do every problems you see. And you're first of all going to be very prepared. But second of all, you might actually encounter the same problems you practiced in the actual exam because there's only that many problems in the world and not many engineering s professors actually design their problems by themselves. They take it from textbooks. So if you're studying with this textbook, they might take it from another textbook. Sometimes they take it straight up from the textbook you're studying from. So if you have the time, a very good way, I don't know if it's efficient, but a very good, strong way to study is just do every single practice problems that you can do. Also stayed up like 55 hours straight once during finals. We've kind of all been there. At least a big part of us. I know some of you guys have your shit together fully and that's not a thing you ever do. Good for you. But I relate to this and I'm sure a lot of us all relate to this. I woke up at 5 to get to the library at 6 and wrote an entire semester project paper for statistical thermodynamics. Oh my god. All right. That's some serious shit. Uh, statistical thermodynamics. That's the type of shit that got two people, uh, you know, they self-destructed. You know the textbook uh, that starts with uh, Boltzmann studied statistical thermodynamics, I think. It was statistical thermodynamics, I'm pretty sure. But Boltzmann basically offed himself because of what he was studying. He was researching on that. And then the next person that kind of continued whatever, whatever he was doing, right? He continued his work they also off themselves and then the book continues to introduce statistical thermodynamics i think it was statistical thermodynamics they were like now it is your turn to study th statistical thermodynamics anyway so i woke up at five to get to the library at six and then wrote an entire s semester project paper for statistical thermodynamics that required like 10 sources and original equations with explanation of the bose einstein condensate that we were supposed to be giving updates on for the past three months. I wrote it in six hours and went to my bachelor's party and got married the next day. I got a 95 on that project. So this guy who commented it, I kind of know him from online. He's a PhD in physics. I'm pretty sure he's doing a postdoc now. Like he's cracked. All right, so I'm not surprised. Absolute legend. The comment itself got like 13,000 likes. That's insane. Got so stressed with an exam that I had nightmares for a week straight about failing the course. They occasionally popped up throughout the month. I think that is common though. Kind of is. I was also kind of solving a lot of the problems I studied for in my dream. I would wake up and forget how I solved them, but in my dream, I guess my brain was consolidating all of this stuff I was studying throughout the day. So, yeah. I would also confuse dreams with reality sometimes. I dreamt of studying the subject randomly, and when I woke up, I would get my stuff ready and go to the exam. Usually it took around two minutes for me to realize a confused dream with reality, and I finished the exam a week ago. This guy's traumatized like he got sent to Normandy. <laughs> All quiet on the Western Front. This guy, this guy's traumatized. Okay, last one for part one. All right, this is, this video is part one. We're going to have part two. Uh, more substance abuse. <laughs> have severe anxiety and decided to take CBD oil with low amount of THC. And subsequently, higher THC dosage pills. I've had major external stressors lately and a few job interviews lined up one week. Decided to take CBD oil and the THC pill to calm my nerves, especially during interviews. It worked and led me to passing two 
and was moved into the final round. Until one night I had a really bad reaction to the THC and greened out. Had an exam the next morning, wrote it high. The paper was spinning and I've answered every single question in that paper. Did I pass? We'll let you know. Update. I got an A- on the exam. <laughs> okay. Job interview made it to the final round, but ghosted, I guess. Congrats on getting an A- high like this. Don't do this again. I don't think this is good for you. And I'm sorry for your interview. Now, I have a hundred other screenshots like this that I'm going to read in parts two, three, four, five, whatever. Doesn't matter how many parts we're going to do. We're going to do them all. All right. See you next time. Subscribe to the YouTube. Follow my original page, which, which is on TikTok. Follow the meme page on Instagram. And uh, join the Discord. There's 11,000 members inside. Join the Patreon, where I post a lot of cool resources and my notes and my crib sheets. Probably forgot most of the things I should be announcing here. So just look at the description in this video. All right. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.